welcome, this is Ruth and today I have the Little Star gift box die set from Tonic Studios and this is their latest showcase set of dies. So it's a rather large one as normal, that's a A4 and as you can see already I get these in advance of the launch so sometimes I don't always get the proper packaging and that's the case today. So this is just on a piece of acetate but yours will come properly packaged. Now, first of all if you like this type of um, video and you enjoy crafting and you enjoy Tonic Studios, don't forget you can subscribe to my channel and follow along. There's lots and lots of videos there already, lots and lots of different playlists and I have plenty more to come because there's always plenty there scheduled to come up with the upcoming launches. So if you'd like to subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell and then you'll not miss any of the videos as they come along. And don't forget to give it a like at the end if you do happen to enjoy it. And I really, really would appreciate it if you would leave me a little comment and let me know how you find the videos. Or just let me know that you've watched and enjoyed it. So, back to the die set. This is, as I, as I said, the Little Star gift box. And there are 29 dies in this set. Now, this would be the main one that makes the dies the actual gift box. And although that's called the little star, I don't actually think that's particularly little. I'll just move this over and show you it here for a bit of perspective. But I have already measured it. And from this cutting edge at this point here to this point is 14 centimetres. And from this edge to this edge is 16 and a half. So I think that's a fairly good size. And that's it on an A4 sheet there, just to give you a little bit of size perspective. And we'll go back and have another look at the, die, the complete die set. So that's the outer one and then this is the inner one. And quite often these are verso, which means that they don't have an outside cutting edge. But this one does, in fact, have an outside star edge there. So when you cut this pattern star with the hollies and the berry on it there, holly and berries, oh dear, on it there, uh, you will get a full complete star shape as well. And it will have this cer the centre in it, but you can use lots of these different circles here to cut the centre out if you want. And you can back this one onto this one. Now, you know before I get carried away and get into creating something on it, I always like to have a look and let you see how you can get value for your money when you buy one of these die sets. My affiliate links, by the way, will also be down below if you are interested in that, but I'll chat about that a little later on in the video. But just to show you how you're going to get your value for money, although it's called the gift box die set, don't by any means think you've got to limit yourself to making it a gift box because this large star, as you can see, could be used for Christmas decorations. You could use this with a hole punched in the top uh, and string a lot of them together and make Christmas bunting if you were having a party or whatever. You could use these ones in say metallic card or whatever and they could be hanging decorations on your Christmas tree or Christmas decor just around the home. There are so many ways that you could use these even on a large card because that's absolutely beautiful there but as well as that these dies now we've got this circle with the little punched uh, dotted holes around the outside of it there I always love a circle layering die, so that's fantastic on its own. And although it can be used to cut out the centre of this one, it can be used to create a layer to sit on top of that as well. And with any of these other dies that are in the set, you can use these on cards or in fact for other little hanging decorations as well. And then we've got the panels here. So we've got this one and not that one, <laughs> this one. And those used together will make the little drawers that fit inside the little gift box here. But all of these decorative detail dies that can be used with that, as well as these little banners and whatever, you can use those on cards or on other Christmas decor. Now, I think I've talked enough about the die set, so let's just have a look for some card and I'll be right back and we'll start to show you what you can make with this. So first of all, I have taken these dies, so this one with the three parts on it, and this one with the two, and I think I may have said that those were the drawers in the, in the uh, first part of the video. They're actually the little compartments that the drawers fit into. 
So you'll need to cut five of these, five each, and I've used some 300 GSM black smooth card for that, and I've cut out five of each. So I have gone ahead and reinforced all those score lines, well, nearly all of them. So I'll just fold over at the score line there, and then take your little bone folder and just make sure all those edges are well burnished along the fold lines. So first of all, take the piece that has the three sides to it and put glue along this little tab and join it to the side there. So that's the little tab that's in the centre and just put glue down there and then fold that in and hold it right along there and just push the glued sides together and that's the first little part. Now on this one we're going to add that to make a little diamond shape so you'll want to get this piece that has no flaps on it, no glue tabs, and that will get glued onto the glue tabs on this one, and then these two can join onto the bottom there, and that will make a lovely little diamond shaped uh, compartment to put those drawers in. So I'm just going to put glue along these two first of all, because I've noticed with the black glue, black card particularly, it can get a little bit messy if you put all the glue on together and then you're having to hold it so just glue those two pieces together first of all and make sure the glue has grabbed really well and then you can glue the other pieces together. There you are. And then now I'm just going to turn that over and you can see there, see here, um, the glue tab here and here and I'm going to put glue along there and along there and then just tuck those in behind there and hold that together and that will give you a little diamond shaped compartment. Now make sure you've got this corner joint pushed together tightly and you can wipe off any excess glue. That will all be covered in a moment or two anyhow but it's nice to have it all tidy as you go along. So there we are. Now you need to make up five of those and when you have the five made up you can join these all together and then that will make your little stars. So I'll go ahead and do the others. I've got three done already and I'm going to do the other two. I have the five of these all cut out now and you can see I've just laid them down so there's an opening here, a flat side, an opening, a flat side, an opening, a flat side and an opening and the same on this one and then you'll be able to push them all together like this and you'll, all you have to do then is put glue on here and here and add those together and then work your way around and then at the end I'll show you how we hold it all together firmly. After I've done all that, I have taken this large star die and I've cut that out twice in black and I'm going to put one on here directly on the top and then the other one directly on the bottom and that will strengthen all of that and hold it all together and cover up all those joins. Now to decorate the top of that, um, 
I could go ahead and make up the drawers and everything first but now that I'm on this piece I just want to go ahead with this one so I, as I said this was the piece that I cut for the top here and this one also has an outside cutting edge so I've cut this out in some Welsh gold glitter card and that looks really really lovely on there and then I've taken the circle die and the inside pattern die so that's this one and this one now you could obviously add a layer on top and put some dimensional foam pads in there but I wanted to just add this directly on so I've used those two dies together and I'm going to glue that on top of there and isn't that really lovely? Now the next thing we'll need to do is make up the little drawers for inside. So this is the little square which forms the sides and then this shape here is the piece that gives you the base of each drawer. So you'll need one of these for each drawer and four of the squares for the, the sides there. So what we do first of all is uh, burnish these sides, fold them back and burnish them and then you'll want to put some glue all along the edges and add one of these on to each side. This little die then is the piece that forms the brackets and you'll need to cut out four of those for each one of the drawers and that when you fold these sides up that goes on there and just fits perfectly down there and holds each side together so you'll glue four of those on there and that will be the basic drawer shape now I have done that in the gold because I wanted it to match in with the pattern that I'm putting on it but you could actually just do that in exactly the same colour as the drawer, the drawer itself When you've the little drawer finished, you'll need to just push it in to the opening and see which way around it goes. And remember that that then will be the front. So I've taken this die here and cut this out. So this is going to be my handle and I'll fold this back. Now there's different dies there that you could use and you don't necessarily have to use this handle. But uh, I thought that the 300 GSM gold card, or sorry, black card was good for that. And then I've taken this die and this one inside it and used both of those together on my uh, gold glitter card. And you can see that that fits on there, but also this then fits perfectly into the, see it there? This one fits perfectly in here between the two of those. So what I want to do first then is glue this one on. And leave enough space around that just make sure that you have it centralized is that the word yes centered even on there and uh, that it's straight up at the top and obviously then it will be straight at the bottom as well so just get that into position and then the only piece that you'll need to put glue on here is this little end piece with the can you see it there this little end tab on both with the pointy edges on it there and there and then that one will fit directly in there in between those two pieces and that forms your little handle. Now that will need to sit for just a moment or two until the glue grabs. So that's one drawer ready and another four to go. Now there's quite a lot of die cutting in that so I would recommend that you pick out the pieces that you know you've got a lot of them to cut. So. Uh, well, there are four of these for each drawer, four of these side panels, and there are five drawers, so that's 20 times. Now, I was actually going to just measure that and cut it with my guillotine, but you do need these pieces as well, so it just uh, 
you may as well just go ahead and die cut them all at the one time. So find as many pieces as you can that will all fit through on your A4 plate if necessary at one time and cut them out together and then follow through with that and you'll have it done in no time. There's a little drawer, in it pops and I will uh, come back when I have the rest of them made. all the little drawers in place now and that leaves this little gap beside on each one and I looked at that and I wasn't too sure whether I wanted to put a plain gold glitter card on there or whether I should do the pattern but I actually thought that the pattern would look best so I have the panels cut out here so what I've used for that is this little square die again and then this patterned one inside and I've taped them both together and cut that out five times and I'm going to glue that on here and that matches in with this little piece here. So I'll do that and as you can probably notice I have a little dot here because I felt I wanted to leave this all black and gold and then I thought I would just try a little bit of, um, these are ruby slippers glitter drops and I tried a little bit there because I knew I could pick that back out with my pokey tool if I didn't like it but I kind of like the, the effect of just a little bit of gold in, uh, sorry, a little bit of red in the gold there on those berries. So I will be going ahead and gluing that and doing that and I've also got this to add on to the top. So I'll show you how I've done that. I've taken this die and then I've taken the one which says let it snow. So first of all I've cut this out in black and I've used that for the background. Now these two little pieces here and here so that's the tiny sort of triangular shaped ones there. Those fall out and you'll need to hold on to them. So I have cut this plain piece out in black and then I have taped this one and the sentiment together and cut it out in gold. And I've glued the gold on top. But then what I've done is I've put a little, I've actually got my foam pads already on there, but I put a little piece of uh, double sided tape on here and here, just below those foam pads actually and place these black pieces back in again and that has given me this and that then will go across here. So I'm going to go ahead and glue all of that together and I think it looks really well already so let's see how it turns out when we finish this. That's that one all finished and it looks really cute with all those gorgeous little drawers and that would look really really lovely as a table centre piece or just as a really really beautiful gift with little presents inside there for someone at Christmas obviously with these Christmas decorations and I love the red glitter drops in that and I added some onto the centre there as well but I was just thinking as I was making it up that um, although I absolutely love that black the matte black with the glitter on, of the gold and the red on it really appealed to me but you can make that in different colours and it wouldn't even necessarily have to be a Christmas star. I have looked at this again and thought in, in different colours we could use this on top uh, maybe in patterned paper or whatever and then this is an older showcase die set and it's called Ribbon Rosette and wouldn't that look beautiful if in place of this on top you could have a different colour possibly as I said patterned paper and then you could put this ribbon rosette on top of that and the sentiment that matches that from your die set as well into the centre there and it would be a little gift to celebrate something with someone that, you know a celebratory kind of gift being a star and little prezzies or whatever in here chocolates or just whatever suits the occasion so that's a, an, another way of using this and not necessarily for Christmas so I hope you maybe like to think about some other ideas for it as well. So I shall set this one aside and come back and make my second sample in just a tick.
For my second creation with this die set then, I thought it would be really nice to make a hanging ornament and I wanted to add a little bit of extra detail onto that so I'm going to make a little shaker part on the front of it. So I've used the main star die and I've cut that out twice in avocado green here and here and then I've used the one with all the detail which is slightly smaller, that's this one and I've used that in Lucky Shamrock Green card and I'm going to glue one on there and one on there and that will be the back and the front. Then I have taken the large die from the set and the one that says tis the season, I have it here somewhere, um, there it is, and I have used those two together and that has given me this and I'm going to glue that on top of that and then I'll add some red detail on top of that as well just to give that a little bit of lift of the colour. When I've got all that done I'll come back and explain the little shaker part. So I have those pieces glued together and now I'm just gluing the back and the front together. So that's actually going to be the back and I'm going to add the glitter drops on but I want to wait until the front is ready and then I can keep this one upright so that the uh, facing upwards so that um, everything works fine. I'm just going to turn that over and I have used this large die again. So that's this one but then I took a smaller layering die from another die set, just a layering die set and I have cut that out. Uh, in the centre and made myself a little frame with the avocado green and what I'm going to do now is then I'll put some of these into the centre there. Now I just want to add them, I think I'll add them with my spoon and that'll keep them right in the middle because I don't want too many. It's um, going to be a mixture. So I have some of those and those are red carpet circles. Now you can use just whatever you have that will um, make this look nice and there are some gold, those are actually champagne shine sequins but as I say uh, just a little bit of a mixture and pop those in there keep them into the centre where you can and I think I'll add a few of these candy cane sequins as well just in there and that should be enough now as you can see I have die cut myself a little frame but I used the outside one as well to cut out some acetate and then I glued the acetate onto the back of the frame and on top of that then I have used the Craft Perfect uh, three dimensional foam pads, the new black ones because they're nice and dark and won't show up at the sides and I have put them really really tightly together, you can see there so there are no gaps and I'm just going to pop that on right over there and have that in the centre and put that down and then we've got our little shaker with all those lovely little pieces inside there and I think I will cut this again and put it over here with a little sentiment on it I'm not too sure about that, I'm thinking about that at the moment um, but that looks really well we've got these two little parts here which I've cut out with the tiny die, that's this little die and I'm going to glue one on here and one on the back and glue those together and that will be what you can hang those up with. That's it finished, so you can see there on the back I have all of the glitter drops are all dried and I've got um, Tis the Season and then on the front I've got my lovely shaker part. I really really love shaker elements because it just adds that little bit of something extra to a card and get, or even a craft project like this, not necessarily a card, but that would really be lovely. Uh, single without having the uh, tag on the top of it and glued to the front of a card. So there you are, that's it and I've added some red chilli twine up to the top of it there just to hang that and you can hang that up anywhere you like over the Christmas season. So that's the two projects finished with the die set, the lovely little gift box and the Christmas decoration and 
I have had fun making those. Uh, I'm really happy with the way they've turned out and I hope you've enjoyed them too. If you have, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and come back and see me again soon. But in the meantime, I'd love you to leave a little comment down below and let me know what you were thinking about the video and about what I've just made and if you would make anything different with it, if you have any other ideas that you can share with me as well. And don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I'd love you to do that and hit the notification bell. And next time a video comes up, you'll be the first to see it. So thank you very, very much again. Down below in the description, I will add my affiliate links to everything that I've used here, the die set and all the different products if you're interested. And I do get a little commission, as I've said before, for that. But the price of the whatever you're buying isn't changed at all by that. It doesn't cost you any more. So thank you very, very much to everybody who uses those. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye bye.